The theme music's on. on the ER set with Noah Wiley and the talented cast. Congratulations, the second episode under your belt. Congratulations, how do you feel? Well, I feel terrific. Why are you singing with me? I this whole group of people. This was a joint effort, by far, right. by far. Any mistakes that you made? Hell no, not tonight. Not tonight. Perfect. How's everybody feeling here? Let's get a little great. Yeah. Yeah. Maria, come over here. Maria and Laura. We've got Maria Bello and Laura Ennis over here. Hi. So how did you do on this round, do you think? Uh, you know what? We did it, and I'm really proud of everybody here. And we've had a wonderful experience. We have a great, great company. Such a great crew. We love you guys. Thank you for helping oh, us. Oh, <laughs> They're trying to give us instructions here on the set. Maria, how about you? How did you feel you did tonight? It's been a, it's just an incredible experience. And the two shows were so different, but so well, both so wonderful. It's great. Congratulations. OK. Now the director wants to speak to everybody, so I'm going to bow out. Sarah Edwards reporting from the ER set. Back to the studio.
exciting, very exciting. Both shows went great. They went great. They had their own things that were good about them, and it was just a wonderful evening. We, we couldn't have been happier. We just came off alive. That's a good thing. <laughs> Did you have fun? Did you yeah, get to watch? it was terrific. Both <laughs> episodes, and the second one was a little bit different from the first. The second one, I thought the actors, of course, obviously had the time to settle into a little bit more, um, so it didn't have some of the same, you know, punch of the visceral energy, but I think the performances were a little sharper, so I have no idea what we'll decide to rerun when that time comes. We'll have to we'll have to flip a coin, I think. Congratulations to you, executive producer John Wells, on his triumph with ER Live. Oh, we're just lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's just thrilling. It's the most thrilling thing in the world. Um, I guess the most important thing is we never went to that card that said, please stand by. You know, a phenomenal work from all the actors, the producers, Tommy Schlamy, the director, incredible technical expertise. You know, they did not put on a simple play. They did an episode of ER, and uh, I think they satisfied the viewers. What do you think it accomplished overall for the cast? Well, you know, the cast, it's a large ensemble. They never get to work together. From They really did the pilot all together, and it's 65 episodes later, they don't get to spend an entire week working together as a team. And that's what it was to come together for this night. So they feel they're closer than ever before. It's a great way for them to start that fourth season and not feel complacent, but really feel energized. And uh, that was kind of a, a hidden benefit that I think we'll feel throughout the year. Congratulations. Thank you, it's a lot of fun. I'd like to see. What about, what about George? Anthony, to the West Coast Station. You guys, but we're going out to all the internets, yes, everything. We we're in right computers now. all over the world. Uh, so what did you think about the second episode versus the first? Could you tell much of a difference? How was your energy? Well, I mean, it is it is like doing a play, and every night things are a little different. So the rhythms, things are a little different for us, but I don't think things that are that different for the audience. Um, um, we just peaked at the right time in rehearsals yesterday and getting it all set up, and um, so today we just hit it right where we wanted to be. Were you more nervous for the first one than the second? Mm, I actually didn't feel nervous for either. I felt really safe in here. I knew what we had to do. We do it every day in different versions, and uh, we have such a great relationship, all the actors and everybody who was working on this on this show that we couldn't we couldn't ask for more. Years ago you came up with this idea with George Clooney, so how are you feeling now? Now you can... You, well, you now can... we're feeling very smart, but uh, a couple of days ago we were like, oh, wait a second, we were just kidding about this live thing. Well, congratulations, and do you think it's given the cast a new enthusiasm entering its fourth season? It certainly is made for a, a, a week of exceptional experiences that we'll all remember. And now you go back to work tomorrow, is that true? That's right. Back to work. <laughs> they keep shooting. Great job. Nice Thank talking you. to you. Glad you guys are here. Yay. Thanks. Hi, congratulations. We have the director with us, Thomas Schlamme. And uh, boy, you must be feeling fantastic right now. I feel now. great. I feel relieved, great, and ready to go to bed. Did you make changes for the second episode after seeing the first? Actually, I gave no notes between the first. There was a couple of technical things that we fixed, but from a performance point of view or from it was like fly guys you know you did it good once you can even do it better the second time any, any mistakes that you were panicking about were there any moments where you thought oh my gosh uh, I, I'm embarrassed to say no you know I mean uh, you know you're worried about every scene coming up but we didn't have any of the real glitches that we had had during the week that could have happened so easily and didn't happen. I noticed some of the shots were a little bit different going from the, the first show to the second. Is that just how it happened with the camera people? That's something you orchestrated? Well, a little bit. I mean, we had orchestrated some things that if certain things happened during the scene, they would go to plan B as opposed to plan A. And a couple of times, we got, you know, guys got stuck with their cable and, you know, improvised, which was why they're so great at what they do. In the second show, it seemed like the whole gang scene, where they're they're having the fight, moved a little bit faster. Was that intentional? Uh, no, it's just they sort of uh, got carried away, actually. And in fact, I just found out that the actress who played the character who came out to, you know, confront them got hurt in that scene. Uh, she's, she's totally fine. But she did say they got, you know, they just got really... 
I mean, it was a real fight at that moment. You know, they got... Well, congratulations on your success. It looked fantastic. Thanks, okay. Yeah. Okay. Can we get George? Yeah, we'd love George. Nice to see you. How's your arm, by the way? Oh, my arm's fine. No problem. Okay. Uh, they, they fixed it. They did, they did a good job on it. Yes, we fixed him right up, and we removed his spleen. But he didn't make it to your peacemaker. Uh, oh, well, no, because of this. That's all right. I was expecting him to be attending at the ambulance site, at the crash site. He never showed up. These guys were... No, we were too busy rehearsing. <laughs> How do you think they did, and then I want to get their point of view? Well, you know, I haven't really... This is the first time I've seen a live telecast in the Playhouse 90. You know, you're always too young to remember those shows. But it was extraordinary to sit in the booth and watch this thing go out live. You know, it, it, it really, the difference between an hour delay where you know it's delayed and somebody saw it live and knowing that everybody seen it at the same time is terrifying. And I think everyone came up to the occasion, just rose to it. So, George, yeah. this was your idea with Anthony. Well, How are you feeling now? I think that we feel uh, really we feel stupid. really smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, now we're, we're smart. We're smart. Yeah, uh, about two days ago we felt stupid, and now we feel pretty smart. And were you nervous at all for the first one? Uh, nervous, uh, only more. We knew what we were doing at this point. We've been doing it a while. The wild enough. thing that no one will ever get to see except for us because we were here was that when those doors closed and we went live, there was 150 people in here completely choreographed and completely working with the cameras and background artists working the whole time and everybody staying in character and making it happen. It was And also, phenomenal. what you you know, what, what they don't get to see is that we took this whole show and between Tommy Shlami, the director, and the unbelievably strong shoulders of our star, of Tony Edwards, he carried the show. I mean, I watched a lot of it from the monitor back there, and I was just, I'm just always blown away by it. And that's the truth. You had some funny scenes, though, George, like kind of hamming it up behind the documentary camera. Oh, yeah, well, that's because, you know, I have no life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on Thanks. two great shows. Thank nice to see you, and I hope your arm feels okay. It feels okay right now. This made it feel better. And you wanna, do you want to give a plug? Come on, for the Peacemaker. What's that? No, no, no. Open tomorrow? It doesn't open tomorrow, doesn't it? Yeah, yes, it does. Oh, I think it does. Tomorrow nationwide. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.